So, welcome back everybody to version 1.2 of Lead Dangerous. This is the most current patch that's been made available just today to the alpha and backer, beta backers. And obviously the most important thing of it is the possibility to coordinate um, and play cooperatively with four players as so-called wings. But besides that, there have been a lot of small additions as well, um, which some of them have been uh, I have long waited for, like um, what you'll see in a second now, the external camera. Ever since I was starting to play Elite Dangerous, I always wanted to have some kind of external camera to just to you know, capture this beautiful scenery and, and the beautiful exterior of the ships because when you're dogfighting you're already seeing just how detailed and how finely detailed the ships models are but you could never really pan around and see them in, in their full glorious detail but now with the introduction of the new um, external camera you can and to activate this you have to um, press Control alt and space. Um, another thing that has been introduced is um, small and strong signal sources, which seem to be an alternation of the unknown signal source. The first strong signal source I um, jumped into was a federal military convoy which consisted of several anacondas and this is the second um, strong signal source which seems to be a um, trading convoy made up of four Laken Type 9 heavies and a Laken Type 7 and as you can see here one of these Laken Type 9s is, is actually wanted and I'm very interested in, interested in his uh, load of personal weapons and battle weapons and I proceed to liberate them from his cargo hold And it seems that these um, signal sources are actually made to pose a challenge to the, um, introduce, uh, the introduced wings because this is basically the, the perfect setup for a group of players either trying to act as a, ba uh, as a band of pirates or um, operating as a kind of freelancer for say the Alliance attacking federal military um, convoys and sometimes um, these signal sources seem to reintroduce a feature that was absent since the, I think if, since the Gamma of, of um, Elite Dangerous, which is basically some kind of ambush scenario, where you'll find some very valuable uh, uh, cargo being scattered around in the, in space, and once you proceed to pick them up, you come under attack of by a band of um, pirates. And I've had this with a bunch of gold that I proceeded to pick up and it was quite intense to see how much of the cargo I could uh, scavenge under the constant fire of several ships and um, how to get, uh, get away with that. But as you can see here, I've just proceeded to kill off the 
Laken Type 9 and now I'm going to pick up these weapons. Um, I'm doing this in a little bit of a, of a sloppy way, but since this is the beta server, nothing of what I'm doing here actually matters. What I've um, discovered when I was trying to, to sell these liberated cargo containers is that they are marked and I have to find out, I think you can only um, sell marked tra um, cargo containers on pirate bases because when I try to, to sell them on a normal black market they I was unable to, to sell them off in the usual way through the black market. This is one of the the other um, scenarios that I've come across. This is basically um, the same as an unidentified signal source. There were four coinages of rare artworks, but these didn't trigger any pirates, so I was really hoping to, to show you uh, off this little feature to you, but unfortunately this was just a very uneventful pickup and I proceeded to go on to jump out to and, and conclude my little round trip here. I just did a, did a quick look into this. I hope I have a little bit more time tomorrow and uh, to show a little bit more of this. And this is something that I discovered which is very interesting. I'm currently in um, in the um, FSD mode and you can activate the external camera here showing off this beautiful detail on the model again. And you'll see in a second that I'm actually being interdicted and this doesn't um, exit the the um, external view so because you're controlling your um, the camera at that point with the with your mouse and keyboard or your joystick um, you basically have to be very careful and then switch back again into the cockpit view um, as fast as possible otherwise you will be inter interdicted and as you can see here I've deployed my weapons, I've deployed my landing gear just to show off the the details that you can actually see it that it changes on the physical model. One little thing that I've noticed that's currently not in the game is actually models for your um, player captains. Um, you will see both of the um, seats in the cockpit are currently unoccupied, so hopefully that will change in the future. So, Thanks for watching again and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.